talking about opportunities because mm -hmm. at, at the stock exchange, uh, the, the pension sector heavily invests in that. Mm -hmm. um, the country as it is, we've been heavily borrowing from outside yet we have a pool of money which uh, within we can, we can sort of create an opportunity also for, for government to tap into that and to invest into some of the heavy investments that we do have. Uh, what structures so far are we, are we coming up to, to necessitate that? I think first of all, mm -hmm. Kenyans, we do underestimate our ability to do our own things. Mm -hmm. And um, for you to understand what I'm talking about and why I said what I said, that we can fund our own infrastructure, we can fund our own education, we can fund our own medical and other facilities. Let me give you, for example, this year, or last, uh, this, 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 financial, this end of this financial year, KRA collected two trillion shillings for the first time. It was, it was, it was a celebratory thing because before they have been collecting 1.4 trillion in taxes by year. Yet our budget for the, this year, which we are now running, has been at around three trillion. So we automatically we have a deficit uh, budget. So we have to meet that cap by borrowing, both locally and in, uh, internationally. Now, uh, yet when you look at the economy of Kenya, the GDP of the country is around 12 trillion mm. a year. The, f the financial sector the money which, has, which passes through the financial system in terms of real cash in our country, uh, we have done some mathematics on that, was around, for, the, for, the, for 2020, uh, 2021, mm -hmm. was actually in excess of 77 trillion Kenya shillings. So what is this? The low collection of, of, of revenue, mm -hmm compared to the amount of money passing through the, the government. Are we really a poor country or are we are just, uh, there's something not fixed. Yes. It means there's a lot of money within the country. Uh, so the only challenge is that we have not created a system or a vehicle to, go, to tap into that and then direct it to sort our, our, our own problems. Mm -hmm. Now the vehicles we are thinking about in the pension sector are actually not in, uh, we are not even reinventing the wheel. Uh, across the world, in many countries which are developed, government has transferred or worked with partnership with the private sector as well as the pension industry mm -hmm. to do, um, for the pension industry to deliver infrastructure for the country. Uh, right across our neighbor here, Tanzania, they have taken advantage of this more than us, as opposed to us who have been borrowing from many countries outside there. The pension funds come together in, in a consortium in Tanzania. Mm -hmm. They build the University of Dodoma, a 50,000 university campus from scratch, Greenfield, and it is there. The parliament of Tanzania in Dodoma, fully built by the pension funds. And the, and the government pays them back at a profit and a return, good return for the pension schemes. Mm -hmm. They want a, a bridge in, in, in Dar es Salaam called Kikamboni. It's built by NSSF of Tanzania. In Kenya, we can't do these things because first, we do not, we, I mean, the, we have been choosing as a country to use external borrowings as opposed to asking the pension funds to do it mm -hmm. and creating the PPP's infrastructure to allow them to do that. So we are saying that the time has come, and, it, and my message was serious when I told the president that since we are a very heavily indebted country, look inwards for solutions. Yes. And we are currently engaging with the, the team at the uh, president's office mm -hmm. and person to actually realize this, that we can at least use part of what we already have mm -hmm. to direct it to some of the infrastructure at a profit. Not, we are not giving, doing anything for free. Pension money is very well protected money and mm -hmm. regulated. So yes. we will do it, but with a profit for the members. Definitely. Yeah. So a consortium is very important. I know we already have a consortium. Uh, mm -hmm. any, any projects that are you, you, you're taking interest on locally? 
Yeah, we definitely are in discussions with the government on this. Mm -hmm. We are feeling that we must get involved in an area where there is a, a serious need and social, with a social impact. S some, of they also, some of them projects also have put an environmental impact. With climate change discussions, we have to also align. Mm -hmm. So the biggest need as observed even in our city urban areas is that with urbanization and many people flocking into cities, the infrastructure in the cities is not adequate, particularly housing. So we feel that's our area where we must also, apart from getting our returns as pension funds, we are appealing to the pension managers to also participate in having a social impact investment for their members mm -hmm. first. Uh, and we want to be able, we'll be able to demonstrate in maybe future interviews that uh, we are simply following the trail of tested ground in this area. In many countries, in, the Euro, in Europe, UK for example, mm -hmm. the pension schemes have been doing exactly that. Mm -hmm. Doing social housing, doing uh, affordable housing, and getting a return, but at the same time, creating the infrastructure for people to have decent houses. The larger discussion about privatization. Yeah. I know you've been part of uh, National Oil. Mm -hmm. uh, you're very, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a critical pillar in, in the move to, to privatize that. And uh, it's the idea that how we should privatize and even find a way of listing some of these state-owned enterprises. Uh, talk to us, what, what is the workable structure? What did you guys apply <laughs> in NOC that can be, uh, you know, used in, in the current move to look at more potential spaces in SOE privatization and even listing? I personally have a very um, strong views about our state corporations because I worked in one of them, of them two, actually I worked in two of them. And... Um, in particular, commercial state corporations have no business being owned by the government. Commercial. Uh, government does not, is not set up as a structure for managing business. It is set up as a control institution. So government co prefers to control as opposed to creating value. Um, it, it removes a lot of um, discretionary and uh, deliberate uh, management skills of their CEOs and the boards. So government has totally removed that. So uh, as a CEO of a state corporation, you don't even, you can't be creative because you, you get into trouble very fast. So many people just prefer to say, and that's the reason why we have a stagnation in our parastatal sector. Mm -hmm. So the solution lies in our current environment is, um, privatize them, but first, for many of them, go a portion of the way. In other words, release a chunk of shares to strategic investors. Mm -hmm. It can be a pension fund, it can be a, an international uh, <coughs> yeah, in, in any, um, private equity, who come in to bring in new technology and also new funds, and then also bring in governance something which we have a challenge in our state corporation, bringing good governance. Mm -hmm. With that, you will see a quick return around by this institution. Then the ones which are ripe for uh, offloading into the uh, market, then they are put through the IPO process. Mm -hmm. But as I said, stage one could be release a big chunk of the shares, relinquish management to the, 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 the private investors mm -hmm. so that they can run it better remove the regulations of said corporations over these institutions and let them run commercially and competitively within the same market as the others. That's quite incredible. Mm -hmm. You know, overall, as much as we've touched different sectors, uh, what I'm, I've gotten from this conversation, first of all, our solutions do lie with us. That is one. But two, also crisis is an opportunity. You say that you love crisis, and I was like, what is happening here? Uh, but, uh, you know, you came even with a bull here that uh, you got from the New York Stock Exchange saying, you know, you, you're very bullish. Uh, very. Very bullish. Yes. Definitely. Thank you very much, Mr. Ozea. <laughs> this has been a very nice conversation. Thank you. Um, and a good engagement. Well, wow. 
by this pension and how we streamline that and how we can utilize these tools uh, for the betterment of the nation and you know improving our nation at the same time also improving individual lives well Mr. Zekili group CEO uh, that is and managing director of CPF financial services giving us the inputs the ins and outs of the pension sector let's take a look at the markets